Right hand side cars then. Ah, 92, Paul Whiteman and Andy Colvin. Going this one, Mike Day and Martin Smith also going this one, so they can't uh, very well use the same machine this time, can they? Also Mark Warren with Gary Lux, Ryan Partridge and Gavin Partridge making up a line-up of uh, four machines in this race. And here they come, they're on the straight they go, and they're touching the touch. Three best players up, Jay Sayer runs for his line. Right-hand side cars then. Paul Whiteman, Mike Day, Ryan Partridge, Mark Warren. Problems on the line for the right-hand charioteers. Clark, of course, swiftly moving in. And away they go then. Three out of handicap in 25 yards in the final, make him fight for it. Round they come then. 25, Paul Whiteland. And Andy Colvin lead from Mike Day and Martin Smith. Mark Warren and Gary Martin. Martin's been up the rear. They've been out for a few weeks and uh, lovely to see them back in the fray. Round they come then. 92, Paul Whiteland and Andy Colvin. It used to be Paul, I'll do it the hard way, Whiteland. Now it's Paul, I'll do it with any passenger, Whiteland. And Andy Colvin on the last lap flag from Mike Day and Martin Smith. Mark Warren and Gary Martin. Time. There goes the check flag, Paul Whiteland and Andy Colvin, another win for them. Mike Day and Martin Smith struck over the line in second. Mark Warren and Gary Lux in third, and the Partridge Boys in fourth. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, it's interval time. Race 35, a win for number 92, Paul Whiteland and Andy Colvin. Second place to number 90, Mike Day and Martin Smith. Third place to 306, Mark Warren and Gary Lux. And in fourth place, number 514, Ryan and Gavin Bartridge. Don't give her that way, she won't want that. The winner's time was 1 minute 13.38 seconds, an average speed of 57.44 miles per hour. And we're on the line for the 350cc solo final. No, we're not. We're on the fourth leg of the juniors. No, we're not. We're on the fourth leg of the juniors. I feel we're solos. Quickly, I'd like to tell you, the left-hand side car final will be between numbers 142, 34, 1, 2, 3, 8, 1, 5, 1 and 84. Here comes the juniors and Daniel Glover goes straight down into the first turn pearl. Youth is uh, winning here this afternoon and it's 18 Daniel Glover that gets around that first turn. Matthew Sewell in second, goes back down to third, drops to fourth as they come down that back straight. It's Daniel Glover from Luke Goody from Jamie Parnell from Matthew Sewell. Out of that corner. I'll tell you what, that little Daniel Glover's had a better line around that corner than 90% of the adults here this afternoon. There's a champion in the making, I can tell you. There he goes, round that bottom turn and scorching that bike down that back straight. Absolutely flying here this afternoon. I think he's won every race he's been in. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't mind if he's wrong. Yeah. Round they come then. 18. They're not being told, just don't mind being wrong. 18. Daniel Glover takes the last that flag from Luke Goody, from Jamie Parnell. From uh, Chris Watts, Matthew Saul, Stuart Mears, Craig Drury. And it's all happening here at Britain. Round they come then, 18, Daniel Glover takes the checkered flag again this afternoon. From Luke Goody in second place, from Jamie Parnell, Chris Watts, Matthew Saul, Stuart Mears, Lawrence Barber, Craig Drury and Brad Newlin.
Boys and Intermediates, race 37, the win going to number 18, Daniel Glover. Second place, the number four, Luke Gooding. Third place, number eight, Jamie Barnell. Fourth place, number 12, Chris Watts. Fifth place, number 181, Matthew Saul. Sixth place, number 14, Stuart Mears. Seventh place, number 17, and they're away again, Lawrence Barber.
Mark Harris. And bringing up the rear, young Yvonne O'Brien. The 250cc final with the win for number 16, Adam Ship. Second place to 75, Lee Street. Third place to number 70. That's Gary Wells. Fourth place was 31, Paul Simmons. Fifth place was number two, uh, Robert May. Sixth place was 28, Stuart May. Eighth, uh, se seventh place was 126, Kevin Taylor. Eighth place was number four, Mark Harris. And ninth place was number 41, Yvonne O'Brien. The winner's time is 1 minute 22.49 seconds, a speed of 57.95 miles per hour. From the top, 16, 75, 70, 31, 2, 28, 1, 2, 6, 4 and 41. 1 minute, 22.49 seconds, 57.95 miles per hour. Upright solos come to do battle then. Honourable favourite is 46, John Yeldon. In with a good shout is 174. Robin Belcher. Look out for 68, Daniel Berwick. He always goes well in these uprights. And look out for number four, Bob Tipping. At the end of his first season of, the, of, of his return. To grass track racing after, I think he said, a 17-year break. No, it was more than that, wasn't it? Probably a 24-year break. 24 years out of the sport. He's come back in this year. Goes just as fast, if not faster, than he's ever been before in his life. And they're away. Down the first straight they come. John Yeldon gets down there first. Daniel Barry goes with him. Robin Phil Sean. Bob Tiffin. Come on, Rob. Got your pen that, boy. Down the back straight. John Yeldon gets well clear of the rest of the field. Daniel Barry's in second place. Then it's Robin Phil Sean. Then it's uh, all the time, but Bob Tiffin and Ricky Barber down in their own little ding dong battle. 46. John Yeldon. 68. Daniel Barry. Robin Phil Sean. Four Stybridge. Bob Tiffin. Richard Bartlett, Mike Tucky, and Michael Peters. He's been defending his position there with Paul Cyrus. 46. John Yeldon goes for it. From Daniel Berwick, from Robin Pelcher. Rob Sitting, Paul Cyrus, Mike Tucky. Richard Bartlett, Bill Smith, and Michael Peters. The last lap flag comes out, John Yeldon's going for it. Daniel Burke's trying to really lean with him, not sure he's going to do it. But then John Yeldon seems to slow on that last lap. John Yeldon moves, then it's 68 Chris, uh, Daniel Barrick, then it's uh, Robin Pelcher, Rob Sipping, Mike Nutty, Paul Cybridge, Richard Bartlett. The checkered flag is out, and John Yeldon goes very, very, very wide, but he picks it up and he takes the win. 68, Daniel Barrick right there in the line in second place, then 174, Robin Pelcher. Rob Sitting runs home in fourth. Ah, that's why he rides number four. Then it's one four one. Mike Tucky, Richard Bartlett, Paul Stybritz, Les Rowland, Sean Smith, Michael Peters. That's the winner number 46. That's John Yeldon. Second place was number 68. And that was Daniel Berwick. Third place was number 174, Robin Pelcher. Fourth place was number four, Rob Tipping. Fifth place was number 141, Mike Chucky. Sixth place was number 14, Richard Bartlett. Seventh place was number 24, Paul Stybritz. Eighth place was number 62, Les Rowland. Ninth place, 212, Sean Smith. Tenth place, number 45, James Peters. The winner's time is 1 minute 25.49 seconds, a speed of 55.92 miles per hour. The winner of this will go to the A final. The runners are 1 2 1, Steve Smith and Dave Williams. 5 1 4, Ryan and Gavin Partridge. 3 0 6, Mark Warren and Gary Lux. And 80, Will Offin and Jess Britcher. That's the lineup. Here they come. The Partridge boys go after him. Nice tight line by Steve Smith, making Ryan Partridge go the long, hard way round. There's four laps of this, you know. Ryan Partridge seems to have the advantage of that track straight. Steve Smith puts it across him again on that uh, big turn, and he the inside run. He puts his nose, he puts his front wheel in there, and he goes through clean. 
The Ryan Partridge leading from Steve Smith. Steve Smith fights back. Mark Warren getting a big boozer around the outside. I think he's uh, hoping that the other two are going to get themselves caught up in a mess and he can go right around the outside of him. He's made up in the second place at the moment. Steve Smith fights back. Now that's where they go. That's pretty much the next turn. That allows Ryan Partridge to pull away a few yards. Round they come then, there's the last lap flag and it's Ryan and Gavin Partridge leading from Steve Smith and Dave Williams. The prize of this course, the winner will go into the A final. Steve Smith holding on to that second, but look at Mark Warren coming around the outside there. He means business. Round they come then, the chequered flag goes for the Partridge boys. They go into the A final from Steve Smith in second and oh! Well, well, just a little bit too wide there and uh, caught up in the ropes coming up to the finish. Both of them are on the floor at the moment, although they are wriggling around and uh, I think they're more winded than anything. Could we have a track repair crew, please? A track repair crew. Taken one or two stakes, not about 20 of them out along this, um, this straight. The driver, I'm sure that is, is up and okay and the uh, passenger's on his knees. The win for number five, one, four. No, Gavin and Ryan Partridge, second place to number 121. Steve Smith and Dave Williams, third to 306. Mark Warren and uh, Gary Lux. And then number 80 in fourth place, that was uh, Will Offen and Jess, Jess Pritchard. The winner's time is 1 minute 19.76 seconds, an average speed of 52.85 miles per hour. Eight, Vince Kinching. Seven, Gareth Hickmott. 46, John the Oldham. 24, Paul Cybritz. And 60, Mark Baseby. Well then, the 500 cc final, the big one for the solos this afternoon. There's a really some things to look. Rich Godden goes down the first time first. Rich Godden was a follow on the outside. Steve Blaford challenges on the inside. It's Rich Godden from Steve Blaford from the Kinchin. From Mark. Vince Godden from the inside line on Mitch Godden down the straight they come. Mitch Godden from uh, Steve Frayford from Vince Kinchin. Mark Charles, Tom Cooper, Julian Pepps is going to so well today. I thought he was on the other front line in the final. And Mitch Godden is absolutely gone with the win. He is and this down on the floor, Mark Giles really cracks it into his machine, and the other bike goes right through into the ropes. Red flags and absolute dismay here. Mark Giles is in agony on the floor. Well, a whole thing here in disarray. Mitch Gordon picks up his very damaged motorcycle. Vince Ginchin comes there to make sure he's okay and Mark Giles on the floor receiving medical attention. In a rerun as he was deemed to be the cause of the stoppage and um, Mark Giles unfortunately unable to take any further part in it. I think they told me that 24 and 60 didn't come out anyway. So we should have six here. One, two, three, four, five, six and here they come down into the first turn. Steve Brayford makes the best of it. Steve Brayford scorches ahead in the first turn. Julian Phipps is there in second place. Then it's Vince Ginchin. And down the third. Steve Brayford making the duck fly. It's Steve Brayford well clear of Vince Kinchin and Julian Phipps in second. 
this in third, sorry, trying to make a second on Vince Kinchin, Vince Kinchin pulls ahead, that is 2-1-5, Steve Bryce with the lead, Vince in second, that is 2 one then Tom Cooper, two more laps to go, Steve Bryce, Vince Kinchin, Tom Cooper moves up ahead of Julian Fitz, Julian Fitz dropping down the fourth place there, that is Gareth Hickman. One more lap to go. Vince Kinchin in second place. Tom Cooper in third. Julian Phipps in fourth. Then it's Gareth Hickmott. John Yeldon. Around the last turn for the last time. This is the last time of the champion. Bill Brayford. Followed by Vince Kinchin. Tom Cooper. Julian Phipps. Gareth Hickmott and John Yeldon. You see, Britain in flyer final was a win for number 215, Steve Blakeford. Second place, number 8, Vince Kinchin. Third place, number 153, Tom Cooper. Fourth place, 73, Julian Phipps. Fifth place, number 7, Gareth Hickmott. Sixth place, Number 46, John Yeldon. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 16.71 seconds. 62.32 miles per hour. The Fritton in Flyer right-hand sidecar final. Four outfits go in this one. Top of the tree is 92, Paul Whiteland. And Andy Colvin. Joint on points by on them were number 90. Mike Day and Martin Smith. And then number 99. Trevor Colvin and Terry Saunters and coming in the back door entry if you like from the B final 514 Ryan and Gavin Partridge can anybody put one over the British Masters champion a res rise that takes fly we're about to find out we're about to find out about Mike Day's got problems with his machine, if he's stalled it or if he's packed up on the line there, but out in front, in the first turn, it's 92. All right, them and Andy Colvin from Trevor Colvin and Terry Saunders. Brian and Gavin Partridge. Mike Day and Martin Smith got it going again for four. Round they come. 92, Paul Whiteland and Andy Colvin. On Trevor Colvin and Terry Saunders. Seems to be limping round. And the last lap flag goes for the British Masters champion. Doesn't seem like anybody can touch him today. Real right the turn they go. Last time, half a lap to go. It's the British Masters Champions leading, and look at Trevor Colby going after it. As he comes up the last turn, the checkered flag goes. A win for the British champion. All right, from Trevor Colby. The Masters boys and Mike Day, Martin Smith bringing up the rear. The right hand sidecar final was a win for 92, Paul Whiteland and Andy Colvin. In second place is number 99, Trevor Colvin and Terry Saunters. Third place, 514, Ryan and Gavin Partridge. And in fourth place, number 90, Mike Day and Martin Smith. No other finishes, the winner's time, 1 minute 14.24 seconds. An average speed of 56.78 miles per hour. From the top, 92, 99, 514, 90, 1 minute 14.24 seconds, 56.78 miles per hour. A left hand sidecar final. The Jason Ralph Memorial Trophy. A lovely trophy sitting just outside the commentary box here. Hope you're all going to wander over from the other side in time for the presentations. There will be a few minutes obviously getting the riders together. This is the big one this afternoon, chaps. The one for Jason. 
The runners are 142, Terry Nicholas and Michael and uh, Michael Raymond. 34, Steve Dowling and Neil Smith. 123, Billy Penfold and Matt Bygrave. 8, Paul Grayson and Chris Berwick. 151, Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. And 84, Fred Kinchin and Jason Hilliard. That's the lineup for race 43 for the Jason Ralph Memorial Trophy and the 100 pounds first prize. Here they come. Down the straight they go. Graham Hilton's got the best of it on the inside. Now Mason Ace goes into the first turn first. Slowing up the path of the Welsh Wizards behind them. The Welshmen are trying to go through on the inside. Graham Hilton winds it up, but the Welshmen are through. And it's Terry Nicholas that leads down that back straight. Terry Nicholas and Michael Raymond lead. From Graham Hilton and Colin Clark in second place. Then look at number 34, Steve Downing coming through on the inside of Graham Hilton. Those two are the Battle of the V Twins. Then it is uh, Billy Penfold and Matt Bygrave. Then Paul Grayson. And they move on. Around they come then. The Welsh Wizards showing the way home. They're half distance. It is Terry Nicholas and Michael Raymond. From one by one, Graham Hilton and Colin Clark back up in the second place. Then Steve Dowling and Neil Smith. Then Billy Penfold and Matt Bygrave. Paul Grayson. And Chris Berwick. And Fred Kinchin. Jason Gilliard bringing up the rear. There goes the last lap flag. The worst of the one lap away from victory. Here are the Sydney in fire and the Jason Ralph Memorial Trophy. In second place at the moment, 34, Steve Dowling and uh, Neil Smith. Dennis Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. Billy Penfold and Matt Bygrave. Paul Grayson and Chris Berwick. Fred Kinchin and Jason Gilliard bringing up the rear. Graham Hilton sliding back down another position there and the checkered flag goes for the Welsh Wizards. Terry Eggers and Michael Raymond from Steve Dowling and Neil Smith. Billy Penfold, Matt Bygrave. Number 8, Paul Grayson and Chris Berwick. Oh, it's often the twin. And then 84, Fred Kinchin, Jason Hilliard and Graham Hilton, Colin Clark bringing up the rear. And uh, the left-hand sidecar final this afternoon was a cracking win for number one, four, two. Terry Nicholas and uh, Michael Raymond. Second place, number 34, an incredible result for him. Probably his best to date, 34, Steve Dowling and Neil Smith. Third place, one, two, three. Billy Penfold and Matt Bygrave. Fourth place, number eight, Paul Grayson and Chris Berwick on a Gotham B twin. Fifth place is number 84. Fred Kinchin and uh, Jason Hilliard, and in sixth place, the Mason Ace, Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. The winner's time was 1 minute 33.53 seconds, giving an average speed of 51.11 miles per hour. Start this afternoon with the juniors, and uh, we have three prizes each for the juniors here. And in the actual juniors, not the intermediates, but in the juniors, in third place, it was, big round of applause, Craig Drury! Well done, that man. Well done, Craig. Charge you here, Ginger. <laughs> Second place this afternoon, the juniors, was Matt Saul. Well done, Matthew. <laughs> and first place today, what a little go up. Get a bigger one. <laughs> First place this afternoon, lovely little girl, is Daniel Glover. He showed him how to do it today, didn't he? Face the camera. He wins the prize money as well. Intermediates, third place, Chris Watts. Second place, Luke Goody. And first place this afternoon, Jamie Parnell. He knows how to come out of a presentation, give the sponsor some advertising space, that's the way to do it. <laughs> 350cc solos. 
350cc solos and we need winners only so the winner of that lovely cup this afternoon is David Mears. <laughs> Yeah, another man who's been around a day or two knows what to do with his sponsors. Look, get his name right across everything. Pose in front of that video camera for about 10 minutes. Get some television time on. Well done, David Mears. 250cc solos this afternoon went to Adam Ship. He had enough trophies before you started that game. He'd give him another one. <laughs> Uprights this afternoon. First place, John Yellowman. <laughs> and the 500cc solo, Fritton in fly with us, Steve Bateford. Who's he ride for a speedway? No one now. <laughs> Trust me, won't be big mouth again then. Face the camera. Yeah, Steve. <laughs> Have you had a kiss yet, Emma? Oh, you have missed that. Sorry, I'm watching. <laughs> Don't embarrass her. <laughs> Just to make sure. <laughs> Right-hand sidecars expect some trouble here. Paul Wright, look at Andy Colvin. <laughs> Paul, I'll do it with any passenger wide. I'm sorry, I told you expect trouble. Look, he started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my box is standing on. <laughs> and the winner of the Rose Bowl for the B final win this afternoon was Ryan and Gavin Partridge. <coughs> Don't miss a bow. Get down. <laughs> well done, Ryan and Gavin. And the left-handers with the Jason Ralph Memorial Trophy, and I think the Fritton and Flyer Trophy. And there's more trophies coming out now. I should get lost in a minute. Could we have Cherry Nicholas and Michael Raymond? I saved them till last because he got a long ride home and I thought I'd like to delay him a bit longer. <laughs> well worth coming for, look at those lovely trophies. They've got enough hands. Ladies and gentlemen, one more clap for the Welsh Wizards. We're going to go home this evening with all those lovely trophies. Winners of the Fritton and Flyer and the Jason Ralph Memorial. He goes up on the inside of Chris Bell, trying to take that third place away from him. Mitch Godden sneaks through to that second spot. Chris Bell fights back. One, one. The caller on the start line there looks like Richard Bartlett. And Bob Dolman trying with him as well. Matt Edrington goes very wide and there's two of the riders to go past him. On Billy Penfold in second place. Just one more lap to go of this intrepid battle. Number eight, Vince Kinchin taking a wide line. Steve Braver sneaking up on the side. Oh, they're right side by side as they went past me here. As they're going to sort themselves out before the finish. Vince Kinchin. Here they come then. Left hand chariot here, part two. 
Graham Hill putting up a brave fight for his second place, but the Welshman goes through, the Welsh Wizards are up to second. And Terry Nicholas goes through onto the front line and just entering into the last turn. Look at Tom Cooper trying to come past Jason Hilliard and make some moves on uh, Mitch Godden. It all out tightens up around that bottom turn and they straighten themselves up again down the straight. Tom Cooper makes a move on Mitch Godden, up in a second. Mitch Godden, right back. And then it is Adam Ship that goes to the first turn first. Adam Ship wheels his way down the first turn and leaves. Followed by Lee Street, Gary Wells, Paul Simmons line. And away they go, and a bit of a wheelie out of the gate there. Mike Day leading. Rob Patterson in second place. Rob Patterson not budging an inch there on that corner as they came very close together. Rob Patterson is standing outside of Mike Day. Mike Day back into second place is Rob Patterson. And somebody's giving Mr. Watts a bit of a handful and a bit of a bit of a bit of a problem down that back straight. And Daniel Glover goes through the front. Daniel Glover leads Jamie Parnell. Jamie Parnell gives it another handful of throttle. And Chris Still goes into the first turn first with Chris Pay. The battle of the Chrises is on as they go round there. Matt Edrington making it through into third. Bob Dolman in fourth. Steve Higgins in fifth. Big battle as they come out of the last turn. And there's the second flag. And the goes to Chris Pay. Bob Matt Edrington. Mitch Gotten comes flying through from nowhere to pick up the lead as he comes down that straight. But Dave Mears gets his wheels in line first and charges out of the fifth turn. And it's Mark Giles and Vince Kinchin to come past me. Steve Bafer, the additional rider, he's sitting in third place at the moment. Tom Cooper's in fourth. Steve Bafer sees a gap and goes for it, and he squirches into the lead. He's still going to get to the turn, and then that puts very, very wide. But Steve Bafer takes the win. Mark Giles second. Tom Cooper third. Vince Kinch in fourth. Jason Hilliard, John Yeldon, and Gareth Hickmott, all three abreast in that turn. Uh, Scott Lee, Lucas Lee, and Biff flying around the outside there. He needs to turn. He's shooting a fifth to lead. Vince Scott in second place. Look out, here he comes. Mitch Gordon just takes it from Julian Pips on the line. What a cracking finish that was. Right. The starters orders take fly and here they come. Wheelies galore off that line and look at number 16. Adam Schiff scores. Closes the gap right up on that turn and down the back straight he comes. He sneaks through on the inside. Lee Street goes into second but he's got his work cut out of who he wants to catch. Adam Schiff. <laughs> Mike Day in second place and pushing hard on the back wheel of the Partridge Boys. The Partridge Boys go a bit wide and let him through. And through goes Mike Day into the lead then. One. Shane Knight, 229. And the big wheelie and problems on the start for one. Bothers the Richard Reed up there on the start. Round they come in, 139, David Mears at half distance, Bob Dolman moving up in the second place, Matt Chris Pay has moved up in the second place and he goes very wide and uh, let's Terry Massingham back through on the inside, it's Tony Davey, Terry Massingham, Chris Pay. Terry Massingham closes the door and he goes past Tony Davey on the ex uh, uh, inside of that turn, but Tony Davey fights back and pulls it back again, Tony Davey leading down. Chris Pay trying to come through on the inside of Terry Massingham, Terry Massingham puts the power down to the ground and she comes out of that corner. He goes through on the inside of Tony Davey, but Tony Davey scorches around the outside and takes it back again. Tony Davey leading down this last, next to last straight. Round the pitch turn they come in, Chris bay has got the bottle of it. He's on the inside, he's got the throttle wide open. Oh, very, very close as they go over that line. Vince Kinchin has to be scorches down that first straight, but look at Steve Braveford and Mitch Godden. Both trying to get in the frame. Vince Kinchin leads it, Steve Braveford in second, Mitch Godden in third. Vince Kinchin tightens up to the inside and Steve Braveford sees a chance around the outside and he takes it. And Paul Grayson leading out of that first turn, Graham Hilton, Colin Clark in second place, Billy Penfold and Matt Byergrove in third. Adam Schiff and Lee Street try to go round one either side of Paul Simmons to see who's going to come out of the first turn first and Lee Street scorches ahead. Very well, goes through on the inside of Lee Street. Lee Street puts the top lot of nice around on the outside. Here come the youth. Jamie Parnell makes the best of the start as he goes down to the first turn. And here they come. Down the straight they go. And they're touching a touch. And they're the make it up. Jay Sayer runs for his line. 139, Dave Mears from Chris Pay. And uh, Bob Dolman going past Chris Pay. Lee Street goes past Gary Wells and moves up in a second. He's now chasing after. The edge for the champion. John Yeldon gets down there first. Daniel Barrett goes with him. Robin Phil Sean. Bob Tiffin. Come on, Four laps of this, you know. Ryan Parker seems to have the advantage of that back straight. Steve Smith puts it across him again on that uh, big turn. And he goes through clean. 
Ryan Partridge leading from Steve Smith. Steve Smith fights back. The 500 cc final, the big one for the solos this afternoon. There's a really decent thing to look. Rich Godden goes down the first time first. Rich Godden wants to follow on the outside. Steve Blaford challenges on the inside. It's Rich Godden from Steve Blaford from Steve Skinkin. And the old, another bike goes right through into the ropes. Red flags and absolute dismay here. The checkered flag goes. A win for the British champion. All right. From here they come. Down the straight they go. Brian Hilton's got the best of it from the inside. Now make Slowing up the path of the Welsh Wizards behind them. The Welshmen are trying to go through on the inside. Graham Hilton winds it up, but the Welshmen are through. And this Terry Nicholas that leads down that back straight. Graham Hilton sliding back down another position there. And the checker flag goes for the Welsh Wizards. Terry Nicholas and Michael Raymond. From Steve Dowling and Neil Smith. Billy Penfold, Matt Bygrave. Number eight, Paul Grayson and Chris Berwick. Oh, it's often the twin. And then 84, Fred Kinchin. Jason Hilliard and Graham Hilton, Colin Clark, bringing up the rear.